Right now I'm gonna show you an app that makes it really easy to sync multi-camera videos. Without an app like this, you'll end up spending more time trying to sync the videos than you actually do editing the videos. So something like this can really help you out, whether it's for vlogging, whether it's for making movies, or whatever you wanna do with your videos. This is very simple, very quick, and it makes it very, very easy. First thing you need to work with multi-camera video production is multi-cameras. I'm working with four cameras right now. I got three cameras rolling in front of me. And then I got this camera right here, which is one of the cameras I use for vlogging. And what I'm gonna do with this camera is I'm gonna be turning this camera on and off. You know, it's really nice to be able to use multiple cameras. Before I found out this app existed, me and the other camera people that I worked with, we would literally count down three, two, one, record, and we'd all hit the record button so that it was easier for me to sync up the video when I got to my editor. And so with this camera, what I'm gonna do is, I have these three cameras going, which I didn't start at the same time because I know I don't need to, but um, and then I have this camera here and I'm basically just going to be turning this camera on and off so that when I put it in the application you will see how the video lines up 10 second videos at a time. So I'm going to turn this one on real quick, hit record, record. Alright, so I'm recording with this one. I really don't know what to talk about. I was thinking I could do something like I was going to act or something or tell a joke. I don't have any jokes. I'm not a good actor. So basically I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to tell you about turning this camera on and off. What I will tell you is I'll tell you what cameras I'm using. Right now, this is a Lumix G7. I got my Blackmagic camera here. I have my Lumix G7 in front of me with the bigger Rode microphone and it's on my uh, stabilizer. And then I have the GoPro here. I'm sure you can tell by the fisheye view. So, sorry, I forgot to turn the camera back on. We're rolling again, and it's kind of blown out of proportion, but I just turned this back on. I got the Blackmagic camera here. I got the G7 here, and then I have the GoPro here. This is pretty much it for the shooting sign. I'm now gonna turn around, and we're gonna put this in the computer, and then we are going to sync it together. All right, so the application that we use here is called Pluralize. We're gonna go ahead and go down and open it up. Now, it's very simple, there's not a whole lot to it. We're going to go down and we're going to add media. And then here's my main camera. And then this is going to be the camera that I was turning on and off. And then the GoPro. And the Blackmagic. And you see they open up it all as individual cameras. And it says we got eight clips ready to synchronize. So they are ready, open and ready. And we're going to hit the synchronize button. And they are synchronized. That was it. That's how fast that it synchronized all these files together. So in the export timeline, like for me, I got to export as Premiere Pro. And then you go up here to change the file name, Video Sync 2. Video Sync 2. Save. Replace. And then... I honestly don't even know what this stuff is right here. Uh, it looks like you just can change the color of the clips and then move other unsynchronized clips to the end. Obviously that's pretty self-explanatory. If I had read, I know what they do. And then you hit export. And it shows you what folder they're in. There they are. So I, I use Premiere and I know that they have a uh, video sync feature in, in their program, but I like this a little bit better. And then I am going to open project. And then once I open up the folder, we're going to go to the Video Sync folder and then Video Sync 2, the XML file. It actually takes longer to load in here than it does to sync all the files. Okay. So now, if you, if you see, you can see all the files. That is not a pretty image. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There, that's, that's a little bit better, I guess. If you, you can see all the files are here in the sequence. The one thing you don't see is you don't see them over here in the project file. So what I like to do is I like to copy new sequence and then I'm just going to, I'm not going to name it for right now. And then I paste it and then it drags all the files into the project folder. So if for some reason, you know, while you do have it synced up, say that one of the cameras that you're running is also a B-roll camera, you can take that B-roll footage and you can, you can select this file and then you can put it up here and you can easily just select the areas that you want to put into your timeline. Everybody edits different, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this is how you should do this, but this is how I do it. Basically what I do is I just go down until I find this part that I want, and then I just cut all the files, delete what I don't want, oops, 
delete what I don't want. And then, you know, Ripple delete everything together. From that point, it's really simple. You just, all the files are lined up. What I don't understand is, maybe somebody could answer this for me, is I used to be able to link all the files together. Any, any, I could link any file I wanted to together. And for some reason, it only allows me to do that with files that are the same length or they're not stopping and going. And now, for some reason, it doesn't, it doesn't let me do that anymore. If anybody knows why, hey, please let me know. I'm gonna go right down to here, to this part here, and it shows you right here, you got all four cameras. And I'm all, I'm sitting, well, that camera's the one I'm holding in my hand, but I'm sitting in the same position. We are all synced up. And basically the way it does it is if you look here, zoom into the file, this is the audio file. So all it really does is it lines up your audio and then everything else falls in place. If you have any questions, please ask. You know, there's definitely things I didn't touch on, but at the same time, like I said, everybody edits their own way. So I don't want to sit here and show you how to edit this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to link everything together, synchronize everything together. I hope this video helps you guys out. I know that Premiere has video syncing. Um, I'm not sure if Final Cut or any of the other programs do. I'm sure they do, but this is, to me, like, I've been using this for a while, and to me, it works the best. And what with the one with the Premiere, I don't like the way that it, I don't know, for me, I just like using this better than doing it through Premiere. If you use those programs and they have a video syncing feature, you know, leave a comment below, and if you got a video for it, Put, put your link in the comments. You know, this is just an application that I use. It's an application that I recommend, but you know, I'm not getting paid for this. It's just the one that I know and it's easy to use. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, comment down below, uh, give me a like, and um, I gotta go.